Alright my friends, what's up? It's Danny Gallows of course. And I'm gonna have to restart this intro again because there's a big truck going by. Wow, it wasn't that bad, but uh yeah, so right now we're gonna uh highway, uh, walking down on Joy Hill right now and um, um going past the narrow gauge railroad museum and uh we're on our way down to the ferry terminal right now. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys all out to uh, Peaks Island today, which is one of my favorite islands uh, here in Portland. Actually, the only island that I've explored. So today we're gonna go do some walking on Peaks Island, and I'm gonna show you guys. Around. So I'll see you at the terminal. All right, so there's the uh, the ferry station right over there. And the reason, the reason, part of the reason I love it so much is because it's such a close walk from uh, my place. I mean, And uh, right out here at the front is the spot that I usually get. Best spot on the ship. And you guys can see here all the uh, all the cars below, cable trucks even, and uh, personal vehicles, work vehicles and stuff. All going across to the island, people going back home. Alright, we should be uh, departing in uh, just about a minute or so.
crowd has thinned out now, and uh, this is basically the main square here at Peaks Island. Uh, that restaurant there behind me, um, great uh, Jamaican um, music every uh, every weekend, usually every Saturday. You can hear the music coming from the bay. Uh, great food, as you can see, it's right there in the water, so it's awesome. Most of these restaurants are here around the water. Um, and, uh, if we move up here, well, this, uh, this shack back here behind me, this tan shack right here, is where you can wait for the, uh, the golf cart tours. They'll actually have golf carts that'll come and uh, take you around the island for a little tour, and it's pretty fun. There it is right there. Narrated tours, too, I forgot that. There's one of the famous golf carts there. They're famous around Peaks Island. That's pretty much how a lot of people get around here. Right across the street there is uh, Lisa's Peaks Cafe. She's got the famous cinnamon buns over there. And uh, here's the ice cream shop that everybody stops at on uh, Peaks Island. Pretty much everybody gets uh, ice cream here during the summer. Time. So this is basically like the town square and then uh, then over here on this side, you can see there's a um, another dock down there for boats and everything. Right across there is the uh, the Peaks Island uh, Lounge and Restaurant. It's like the most famous uh, lounge on the island. And uh, let's see. that's also a gift shop too. It's the uh, information boards here. And then uh, right across the street here is the uh, the inn at Peaks Island. This is the famous inn that uh, everybody stays at here when uh, when they come to Pe Peaks Island. It's super nice, you know, super luxurious and expensive. Um, it's uh, down front, the famous uh, ice cream shop and the uh, the gift shop as well. Um, up ahead here is where you can. Uh, get blasted in the ear by a truck. Up here is where you can rent uh, a golf cart. Got some, uh, an art gallery right here. And uh, this is the, um, the post office here, the only post office the Peaks Island Post Office. Um, and then this here is the uh, the corner store where they make uh, they make food and you can buy drinks and uh, that's like the local store that everybody goes to. The cockeyed gull there, over the dog barking. Another uh, famous restaurant on Peaks. Again, all right on the water. All these restaurants right on the water. So nice. And then across the street here, that's the last place I wanted to show you across the street there. There's uh, self-service bike rentals, all kinds of bikes. Uh, for rent over at that shop, you can come over there and rent it out for the entire day or a couple hours or whatever uh, and just go riding around um, and uh, on a bike. It's much faster, but uh, I prefer walking. And the reason why we're stopping at this particular point and now going back the other way is because up there is just a bunch of back roads uh, eventually to the beach and uh, down here is much more uh, coastline and beach and cool, uh, cool shorelines to take you guys, so uh, much more immediate uh, ocean and views and stuff like that. So we're going to head back down this way first. Something else you really have to pay attention to on Peaks Island is you guys can see behind me, that brown house behind me, it's actually a personal art gallery and most people just kind of like walk by that kind of thing but you got to keep your eye out for, uh, for signs like that on the street. Uh, all over Peaks Island is a really, really good place to find uh, really unique art galleries.
pissed off and uh, take a drink for a minute. It's unbelievably hot out today. I thought with the breeze it'd be a little cooler, but it's not. It's still really, really muggy. All right, let's get back to it. Uh, this is the uh, that's the, the Peaks Island House a lounge and restaurant. I also do uh, lodging there as well, apparently. Um, yeah, another uh, restaurant, great deck overlooking the entire bay. It's amazing. And as you guys can tell, it's uh, super, super windy today. And it's cooling everything down, thankfully, but it's probably messing up the microphone too. You know, uh, one of the mistakes I made one time coming down to uh, Peace Island, and I'm sure not, I'm, I'm still not sure if it's a mistake or not, but down some of these side roads here, they'll eventually lead out into like beaches and stuff like that, and you can never tell if the beaches are like private or not. Sometimes they seem like they're private, sometimes they don't seem like they're private, and I've made the mistake a couple of times of just kind of like wandering onto someone's beach, so um, just look for where the most people are gathered and you'll be safe usually. So this road here, uh, Whitehead Street, will take you right down to the, the main beach that we're going to. You can see it right there ahead of us. And we make this turn right here down the dirt road. And that'll take us right out to by far the coolest spot on Peaks. That's one of the best beaches in all of Portland right here. Pretty crazy, huh? Up in this wooded area here, they have like little trails and stuff you can walk through too, so we'll take a look at that. And uh, But first we're gonna go, gonna go up around here. Whoa. That is uh, pretty treacherous going there. Dave's doing seaweed. And see like it's really weird like you can just come on to like these these like random parts of, of the of this little stuck section uh, let me get my words here come out of breath you come in here in this little like section of the beach here and you see like there's this trail you know it's like it may be man-made it may be not you know you never know so let's go check it out yeah and I mean look at this I mean it's just so cool it's like Lord of the Rings you know Yeah, and I'm, uh, I'm crouching down right now to get through this foliage. Oh, yeah. And see, uh, it just... Many, many people have been through here because of the thorn bushes, but... Gives you another unique perspective on the island. Let's see if we can uh, attach this with another trail. We're just gonna keep going here, see where it leads. Now see, there's... It's like you never know, it's like, like, did a huge animal make these, or did humans make these? Okay, so, I think, uh, I think this is the main trail, see, like, there's a trail down there, and then there's a trail over here, maybe. I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this way, towards the water. You guys, do that. I'm gonna use you guys as kind of like a beating stick. You know, this doesn't look like an official part of the trail. 
but we get to see some cool things though, nevertheless. Check it out in here. I don't know if you guys, can you guys see that? There's an old uh, bird nest in there. That's pretty cool. And again, look at that. Look at that in there. Like, what's, what made that? Where does that go? I'm not going in there. But. And now, and yeah, now it's, this is the main part here. Now it's finally clear and you guys can see. And this is basically the other side of the, uh, the, uh, the little rock island here behind me. This is the other side here, obviously. Um, and you know, it's usually, um, it's usually much more crowded than this. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, this is kind of like one of the first official hot days, hot summer days of the year, and there's really not that many people here. Usually there's like people, um, you know, like climbing all over the rocks and everything, and there's barely anyone here. I don't even think anyone's coming up on the island. And see, that's the cool part about peaks is that you never know what you're going to find. And see, it's all rock. And then just one part here is sand. And you have yourself like a private little beach here. I should take um, probably around an hour or so to walk around the whole island. It's really not a massive island. It seems like it's big, but it's basically just like a small town, just like walking around a small town. It takes about, about an hour or so, sometimes under an hour if you're walking fast, but why walk fast? Here is a really cool section of uh, um, the Ocean Avenue here. Usually there's more structures, but people come out here and they uh, stack uh, little stone structures. You can see a few of them uh, spread out there on the rocks, but usually there's way more as the summer, as uh, we get more into the summertime. People will come out here and they'll be stacking rocks and making rock formations and stuff all the time. It's magical. Mm, this shot right here is uh, pretty reminiscent of what most of the island will be like. You have your houses over here on the left, kind of like set in to uh, the woods a little bit. And uh, then off to the right, of course, you have ocean there over the foliage. And then, uh, yeah, it's just this. It's just like a road right along the coast of the island with all these kind of unique houses off to the left. And here you can see some more unique houses. And of them, these are some of my favorite on the entire island. See that one's got the clear glass on both levels. And then this one up here is more of like a uh, like a Victorian style house almost. And then down here you just continue to have these kind of unique designs. I mean that one down there in the end has got uh, you know like decks and uh, everything overlooking the ocean and so it's just a really really cool environment down here. See here, see there, there's another really really super unique house. Really, really nice. Oh, amazing. So cool. And I mean, there's another one right there, you know, I mean, right on, right on the ocean. Absolutely epic properties down here. Oh yeah. And I forgot how long, you guys can see, I mean, like I said, you know, it doesn't take that long to get around the island, but you can see how it would seem long on a hot day. You see this road stretched out before you here. There's a cool little marsh area there on the right, and something that I could never figure out. There's this structure over there. You see, you guys see that way off in the distance? I'll stop a minute so you can get a better look. You see that way off in the distance there with the writing on it? I mean, I can't really know that this camera is terrible for zooming in, but I'll try and see what I can do here. Um, you see that? It's like some weird stone structure with writing on it. It's like, it's like an old, like, 
you know, ancient Mayan pyramid or something just in the middle of Peaks Island, but it's kind of cool there across the marsh and the water, and, and, and see, that's just, you know, that's just the thing about Peaks Island is that, like, there's all kinds of stuff to see. That, you know, the thing about being in Maine is that um, Maine is just a unique state as is, and Peaks Island is a really good representation of that. I mean, you know, you have forests, you have coastline, you have marsh, you have weird structures, you know, and, and, and just all kinds of cool things to see in unique places uh, like Peaks Island. All kinds of stuff to discover, all kinds of stuff to find. So, it's awesome. And see, uh, and see, there, there it is again. Let me stop here and show you guys. See, there it is again. You go like around another side, and then you can see like another side of the building there. I mean, isn't that so weird? It's just so out of place. It just looks like this old kind of like broken down bridge or something in the middle of nowhere, with all this strange writing over it. So I don't know. I've never, I've never known what to make of it. pretty cool though. I kind of want to get over there and explore, but I'm just, you know, I'm worried that it's somebody's property and I don't want to trespass, but... Alright guys, so I just found an amazing spot here to chill right on the, uh, the side of the island here for a minute. That's uh, just off a, off a little, uh, a little down side trail behind me. So, set you guys right there. And uh, yeah, this is the best part of Peaks right here, man. Just um, just being able to relax in these amazing spots. I mean, you know, it's about 10 feet down right here. My feet are hanging off the edge about uh, 10 feet down. And I'm just on this kind of like rock ledge here by the ocean. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. There's all kinds of, you know, seabirds and ducks and ocean birds and um, a couple of clouds in the sky, sun shining. A little bit too hot, but it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, look at down here. Wow, it's like something out of Lord of the Rings down here, huh? <laughs> Look at the size of that spider web. Yeah. Yeah, make no mistake about it, there's there's definitely still some gnarly spiders that live down here, uh live down here on this rock. Oh. I don't want to get too close because Shelob might uh pop out at me here, but let's make our way around. The rocks here. Oh yeah. Check out this amazing spot here with the bench, guys. Look at that. The rocks stretch all the way out, basically into the ocean. So I'm just gonna go uh, take a walk out on the rocks, see how far we can go. Wow, look at that. Give you guys a little POV. It's like the curvature of the rocks there that was made by the ocean, isn't that incredible? There, we'll go down here. Right over there on uh, on top of that little that little knoll there, little hill is another pillbox from World War II. 
another relic left over, just like the one on uh, on Whitehead. So now you can see it's starting to turn into woods. You guys can see behind me. That's the coastline behind me there. And uh, now if I turn the camera around, you guys can see now it's turning into woods. And now we're going into the back roads of Peaks Island. And my, my pace has quickened a little bit because I'm not sure if I'm going to make the 1145 ferry. That's the thing about Peaks, you get, you get caught up with yourself, you know? So, keep your fingers crossed that I make the ferry. And they don't get lost on these back roads because sometimes they can be confusing. Some amazing houses down here too as well. Unbelievable. And here we go. Into the woods. Yeah, and see that's that's what I mean. These uh back roads can be confusing. Ah, that's a dead end there. Alright, so we gotta go down this way. Alright. Yeah, there you guys can see the ocean down that way. Straight down that road is the uh, the country club, but you know, we don't really need to go down there. Back road up that way, and then a back road down this way too. Country roads are just, they're so beautiful. I mean, they remind me of, um, I like to go on through like cruises through like, you know, New Hampshire and Northern and Western Maine and stuff like that. And that's what it reminds you of around here. You know, like even though you're smack dab in the middle of an island, you still get that kind of, you know, forest back road driving through New Hampshire kind of feel. And uh, about to round this corner up here. And then we'll be back to the ferry terminal.